The explosions were spectacular. Our cameras caught the colorful flames and thick smoke billowing from the sidewalk grates here on King Street yesterday evening. This stretch of the financial district remained shut down 24 hours after a hydro vault exploded underground. Good evening and welcome to City News. Uh, so here's an up close look at the scene right now. I can tell you that crews, they're still underground working away trying to install the new transformer. They also are still trying to get power restored to the Royal Bank of Canada Tower here on King Street. Uh, now we are being told that there is significant fire damage underground and that's one of the reasons why this process is taking so long. We also want to show you some of the burnt out equipment that was pulled from the underground earlier today. Well, we took this video about three hours ago. A crane was used to pull the burnt out transformer to the surface. It was charred pretty badly and covered in soot. The crews uh, then had to clean the vault out before lowering the new transformer into position. Toronto Hydro is no longer suggesting that flooding from rainwater is the cause of this and says it's likely some sort of equipment malfunction. Between the fall and now, something has obviously caused a fire. So it would have got a clear bill of health in the fall. So we're going to be looking at to see what, you know, what could have caused this exactly. But that's, as I mentioned, it's going to be quite a lengthy investigation. But unfortunately, there is no cause known at this time. So at this point, you can't say that it was flooding from the rain. We can't, but it's definitely going to be something we're looking at. Uh, the, the weather yesterday was quite intense, so it'll be definitely on our list of looking at to see if that contributed to the fire. How often do vaults explode? Uh, this is an extremely rare occurrence. We haven't had something like this happen in quite some time. Occasionally people might see, they might think that there's smoke coming out of a vault, but it might be an end wave uh, vault and it's actually just steam. So this is a really rare occurrence, um, but it was definitely scary. It was something that um, it was a big deal and it's happening in a very busy part of the city so uh, it's definitely a concerning situation we realized that it was it was probably scary for a lot of the people in the office towers around here well, we've also learned there are 1,100 of these underground vaults in Toronto. Most are located in the downtown core, but some go as far as north, north as Young and Lawrence. We are also learning the age of the equipment involved in yesterday's fire is 17 years old. Hydro tells me depending on the condition, equipment is usually replaced between 25 and 50 years. As for yesterday's rainfall totals, Adam Stiles says that we have seen much heavier downpours in this area before yesterday. Uh, just 41.3 millimeters of rain had fallen. Uh, now, again, I want to show you a look at the scene. So this crane here is being used to pull the old burnt out equipment from the underground and to lower new equipment in. And, and again, we have learned that a second transformer uh, now has to be replaced. Uh, now, Toronto Fire remains on scene. They're also monitoring the situation. At one point today, there was a smell and they thought maybe some natural gas was leaking, but it turned out uh, that was not the case. So the work here underground continued. As for when all of this will reopen, it's still unclear. Uh, Toronto Hydro uh, is saying that they might be able to get a lane or two, or rather one lane open at some point, maybe by tomorrow morning. But all of this is still up in the air. So stay with us. We'll bring you the very latest on City News tonight at 11.